Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how I made these bubble candles and we're going to try a few different colors. Everything you need to make this you can get off of Amazon or another craft store. You'll need a silicone wax mold. You'll also need some wax. I am using soy wax because it's really smooth and soft and it burns really cleanly. And you'll also need these wicks. I ordered these soy color dye from Amazon and I'm going to use green and maybe light pink. You'll also need some scents. I'm going to try eucalyptus and go for a green colored candle. You'll also need a Dixie cup, which I've used to poke a hole through. And this will be important later when you put the wick through and you want the candle to dry. So I'll show you how that works. Dixie cups, silicone molds, wax dye, wax, wicks, measuring cup, glass bowl. Boil water in a small pot. Get a separate safe dish to use as a double boiler. The wax will be placed in this dish, not in the pot. You're going to fill your dish with about three cups of soy wax. Choose the soy dye color you'd like and break it up into small pieces to get the desired color saturation. Place your safe dish into the pot of hot water and reduce to simmer. Begin stirring until the wax melts. Reduce the heat and add your scent. Stir until all of the wax is melted. Bring the wax over to your workstation and prepare your cube. You'll grab your wick and you'll put it through the metal piece that came with your wax kit. This piece will help secure the wick will stay straight throughout the entire mold. Make sure the metal piece lies perfectly center. Then you want to grab your Dixie cup and place the wick through the hole, resting the mold on the top of the cup. Next, you'll take the wax and gently pour it into the mold. You'll do the same thing for the smaller mold. Now, all you have to do is let the molds dry for about 24 hours. I had an old candle with a damaged container, so I melted the wax and repurposed it, used pink dye, and turned it into a pink bubble candle. And here are the results. Once the candles have solidified, you'll want to gently remove the metal piece. Then carefully peel the mold back to reveal your new bubble candle. I love the shape and design of these candles. They're super cute and easy to make. 